Earlier this year I embarked on a project to lighten my Orbea again e-bike, but I wanted to do it on a budget. I purchased this full carbon fibre saddle. It was light, it was cheap, and despite its relatively hard surface, it was reasonably comfortable. Up to about 50 kilometres the saddle was fine. Beyond around 50 kilometres it started to get progressively more uncomfortable and by the time I got to a hundred kilometres it was bordering on painful. Unfortunately many of my rides are around about a hundred kilometres so this saddle has been an issue. I did try adding some additional padding. The comfort did improve but now the boundary for discomfort was around about 70 kilometres. Still not really far enough. As I failed to improve the comfort of the saddle enough, I decided to go back to AliExpress and see what else was available. I didn't mind if a replacement was a bit more expensive or a bit heavier, but it must be potentially more comfortable. To cut a long story short, I found a carbon fibre version of this RET saddle. It was advertised as having 3D printed padding on the top surface. Although it did cost three times as much as my previous carbon fibre saddle, it did otherwise meet my requirements. Hence I ordered one and just nine days later it arrived. The box is a bit crushed, but the saddle inside is just fine. The saddle's base is full carbon fibre and the carbon fibre rails are bonded to it. On the top surface is this honeycomb style soft padding. The carbon fibre looks reasonably well laid out. I can't see any wrinkles or any discontinuities, although I have to admit it's quite a simple structure. Similarly, the carbon fibre rails appear to be nicely made and they're joined at the front, which is a nice feature. Importantly, in the clamping area, these rails have a 9 by 7 mm cross section, so they're carbon fibre specific in dimensions. A grippy surface has been applied to prevent it slipping in the seat post clamp. The bonding of the rails into the base looks quite good. I can't see any cracks, bubbles or pores. This is true at the front and the back. To avoid any stress concentration, the rails where they join to the base look nicely blended. The open cell padding on the top surface is between 6 and 8 millimetres thick and it appears to be bonded to the base. It'll be interesting to see if that's a weak point of this design. Firstly, there should be no protruding or sharp edges as these can cause chafing, a particularly unpleasant form of saddle saw. I'm pleased to say that on this saddle all the edges seem to be well rounded. A lot of the comfort on my Brook C17, as a review in the top right hand corner, seems to come from its flexible base. However, on this RET saddle, the base is so rigid it really doesn't flex very much, so the comfort will come from the underlying shape of the saddle and of course that 3D printed pad on the surface. If I do a thumb test on the surface it perhaps doesn't feel as firm as I would like it to be. I can imagine my sit bones sinking through that and hitting the base. However I will only tell if that's true or not when I get out and ride. This is my first ride on this RET carbon fibre saddle. My initial impressions were it just felt like a saddle. I didn't particularly notice the padding, which to be honest is the main feature of the saddle. However, as I rode it a bit more, particularly as I went over rather bumpy roads, I started to notice the slight give in that saddle. That 3D printed surface did seem to be offering some benefit. However, I have only ridden 12 kilometers so far, so I haven't really given it a good test. But my initial impressions are favorable enough to keep using it. And in the future, I'll report back to you. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see that future video, and other stuff about cycling in five minutes or less consider subscribing from me until that next video it's goodbye